Okay, so now we're going to use the filter and sort test to uh, manipulate the uh, customer uh, gender variable, which is this right here. Uh, it's broken down to male and female, and for male, uh, for female. Um, so first thing we do is uh, go to our filter and sort task. <clears throat> and we're going to use all of our variables. We can just click the double arrow to move everything over. And first we're going to go to filter. So uh, first we want only the females. So we'll get rid of them, all the males. So we select customer gender. And then equal to. And then we can either type in, uh, we manually type in what we want. Or we can click this little icon right here. And we have the values that we're able to select. So we want just the females. <clears throat> and we click OK. So this is our new data set. And we look at the customer gender var uh, variable. We see we have nothing but females. So now let's uh, change this up. Uh, we'll go back to our filter and sort task. But I just want to modify task. And then we click the filter uh, tab. Uh, this time, uh, I want uh, the males. So males, no females. Uh, and also, I want to specify an age group. So uh, our data set will f uh, first, the filter and task, uh, uh, filter and sort task will uh, pull out all the females and give us just the males. And then next, we're going to specify an age group. So it'll go to the variable uh, customer age, and it'll select uh, ages within a range that I specify. So we have our customer gender set. And now we want to add another filter. So we, so we do and to bring up another filter option. And we do our customer age. So I'm going to select ages between 28 and 38. So I select customer age. And I want ages between 28 and 38. So I'm going to do greater than or equal to 28. And ages less than 38. So do I do I now I do less than or equal to 38. Let's see what our new data set looks like. <clears throat> yes, we want to replace the changes. Okay, so first we look at our customer gender. We see they're all male. Okay. And then we see our customer age group. And we can see a lot of 30s and 20s. Uh, to make this easier to read, let's go back to our modified task and let's actually sort this out. So we can go to sort by and we'll do customer age. And we'll do this in ascending order. Click OK. Okay, so we have all of our customers that are males and then our customer age. And here you go. We start off at 28, come all the way down, we have 38. So now we've selected just the males only between the ages. And 20 of 28 and 38. <clears throat> so that's pretty pretty easy and can do a, it's a very powerful uh, task, especially when you have you know thousands upon thousands of observations. Um, let's do one more one more little exercise. Uh, let's go to modify task, so we can, or we can just start a new one. So we go back to our original data set, and we'll do filter and sort. We'll use all of our variables. And this time we kind of we want to see we have a variable. Actually, let me show the variable I'm going to work with here. Uh, it's customer age group. Okay, so you can see we have a bunch of different age groups. Uh, 15 to 30 years is the youngest, followed by 31 to 45, followed by 46 to uh, 60 years, and then 61 to 75. So basically, what we want to we want to be able to uh, uh, filter this by some specific age groups. So I want strictly just the 15 to 30 age group and the 61 to 75 age group. So I want to have the youngest and then followed by the oldest age group. Um, and then also I'm going to sort uh, by, uh, let's do customer age. So we go back to our filter and sort task. Okay, we want to use all the variables. Go to filter. And for this, just specifying two different ranges, we're going to use uh, in a list. So for our variable is the customer age group. And you see we have an option for in a list. And you see you won't have any, any options to, to put in here. So you click the drop down, and we have to actually manually add the values we want. So here's our ranges. We want the 15 to 30 years. And then I click add value again. 
and the 61 is 75. Click OK. And also, let's sort this by customer age. So we go to customer age, and we'll just leave it as, uh, as ascending. Click OK. OK, so let's look at our customer age group. And here it is. OK, notice 15 to 30 years, which we wanted, and 61 to 75. Perfect. Now look at our customer age. We also sorted the data by this in ascending order. Starts off at 19, which clearly falls into the 15 to 30 years age group and ends at 73, which is in the 61 to 75 years age group. So these are very simple examples of what you can do with the filter and sort test, but clearly it's a very powerful tool and it's something that you should really practice using because in practice it'll, it'll, uh, it'll help a lot in the real world.